Good morning, Aquasis community members and schoolmates. I'm from Dalian Polytechnic University, and I am Zhou Yang, and my supervisor is Professor Wang. For his intellectual guidance, invaluable instructions, and comments on my thesis, it's with his valuable assistance that I have finally accomplished my paper. Today, the title of my paper is Underwater Image Transmission System Based on Visible Light Communication. In recent years, visible light communication has developed rapidly and has great potential for development and application. Based on the above facts, we have started an underwater imaging transmission system. Then I will show it to you. In the main part of this paper, I divide it into six parts as a background introduction, the overall system solution. The system hardware design, the system software design, the action and the analyze and the conclusion. The first part is the background introduction. On November 13, 2020, the struggle man submersible and the deep sea video lander Shanghai and Ling Ling carried out joint operations in the marina trench, among which the struggle and the Tanghai realized the information exchange through visible light communication technology. An impairment the world's first live TV broadcast on the ocean floor of 10,000 meters. Underwater wireless communication technology is a crow technology in the exploration of deep sea resource. Underwater imaging, monitoring sensors, preparing for ocean worlds, developing autonomous underwater robots, and realizing the integrated development of space, earth, and sea. The underwater <coughs> channels are harsh, and many factors such as optional properties, absorption, and scattering. Effects of seawater will cause interference to signal transmission and affect our communication quality. In order to solve the problem of low efficiency of traditional underwater wireless communication methods and improve the transmission effect of visible light communication, this paper proposes an optimized screen of underwater image transmission system based on blue visible light communication. The second part is the system design principle and screen. The underwater imaging transmission system is mainly composed of three parts, transmitter, underwater channel, and receiver, as shown in this feature. At the transmitter end part, after collected image information is encoded and modulated by the MCU, the modulated signal is modulated into current of the LED drive circuit and emitted into the underwater channel in the form of blue visible light. The signal passing through the underwater channel in the receiving as a signal receiving end. As a photo detector is used to convert the optical signal received from the transmitting end into an electrical signal. The signal is attracted by the fast likelihood blind detection algorithm and then the electrical signal is amplified by the operational amplifier circuit. The amplified electrical signal is demodulated and AD converted to restore the image data. The third part is the system hardware design. After the center signal is modulated, the working system needs to drive the LED light source to convert it into a light signal and pass it to the receiving end. However, the driving capability of the SYNC chip microcomputer is insufficient, so an additional transistor is used to improve the driving efficiency. The function of the Capture C1 is to increase the switching speed of the LED driving circuit and improve the frequency performance of the entire circuit. Among them, R1 is an adjustable resistor.
and R2 is used to balance the impedance of the input terminal and balance the voltage. R3 and R4 play the role of a protection circuit to prevent shock to ground. R5 is a DC bias resistor. By adjusting the size of a resistor 5, the current through the blue LED light source can be adjusted to meet different requirements for actual communication. The signal receiving end is mainly composed of a photo detector, a pre-amplifier circuit, a controller, and a power supply. In the embodiment, the circuit uses composition resistor 5 to produce off-site components caused by the input current of the operational amplifier and is the resistance value in the same as RF. C2 is a bypass capture matched with the resistor 5 to reduce the noise introduced by the matched resistor 5. The T feedback network is used to replace a single large value feedback resistor, where R2 greater than R3 greater than R1. The trans impedance Amplifier circuit of the t feedback network uses a smaller resistor 2 to replace the original larger feedback impedance, but achieve the same current again. The resistance of the compensation resistor decreased with the decrease of the new feedback resistor 2, and the corresponding voltage applied to the two segments of the photodiode decreases. The dark current decreased, and the matching error between the feedback resistors and the compensation resistor is reduced. The fourth part is the system software pass design. CAP modulation technology is based on the development of QEM technology. Its characteristic is that shaping factors and matched factors are used as a transmitting end and the receiving end to generate and separate the same direction and quadrature signals, so that the generated CAP signal has no carrier in the signal band. So this modulation method is called carrier-free mod modulation. Since the visible light communication system is very sensitive to system non-linearity, CAP modulation will not cause the system Peak to average power VQ to be too high. This is also the average advantage of cap modulation in optical communication system. CAP modulation principal block diagram is shown in this picture. The indoor visible light channel communication this distance is short and the channel is stable. However, the underwater visible light channel is differently from the indoor visible light channel. Due to the harsh underwater environment, impurities and particles in the water, turbulence effects, water temperature change, absorption and scattering effects of seawater and many other effects will interfere with the state of the underwater visible light channel. Therefore, the performance of the underwater visible light communication system is effective. For the transmission, Characteristic of underwater visible light channel is very important to select an appropriate signal detection or result. Blind likelihood detection means that the receiver process signal under the condition that the mathematical mode model and the statistical parameters of the channel are not known. Then it can complete the accurate estimation of the channel and the detection of the signal. Compared with the traditional MSE algorithm, MD algorithm and blind detection algorithm, the first likelihood blind detection algorithm allow complexity and higher accuracy. When the channel condition such as the channel Model and parameters are unknown. The fast likelihood blind detection algorithm can complete the signal detection and channel model estimation by processing the received signal. The fifth part is the experiment and analysis. 
The T feedback network trans impedance amplifier circuit as a photoelectric receiving end was simulated and compared with the ordinary trans impedance amplifier circuit. The input current signal frequency was a square wave signal of 10,000 Hz, and the simulation results are shown in the feature on the left. The simulation results show that the bias current generated by the T feedback network trans impedance amplifier circuit is reduced compared with the ordinary trans impedance amplifier circuit the DC bias is reduced by 55.9% the team feedback network can effectively reduce the DC bias by the compensation resistor for the performance analysis of the algorithm under the conditions of data loss is 20 and the variance is 0.5. The simulation result of the BR performance of the fast likelihood blind detection algorithm. The MSE algorithm and the mean detection algorithm are shown in feature on the right. It can be seen that when the same BR is reached, the SNR of the fast likelihood blind Detection algorithm is about 28 decibel, and the SNR of the MSE algorithm is about 36 decibel. In contrast, the BER is reduced by 22%. Obviously, the fast likelihood blind detection algorithm is better than other algorithms. It can be seen that the algorithms used in this article not only match the need for BER performance, but also reduce the computational complexity and improve the communication rate. It has an advantage in the high-speed signal transmission of the wavelength light communication system. This feature is a system test diagram built indoors. A water tank is used to simulate the underwater channel. The feature on the left shows the BR under different transmission distance. In order to better verify the effectiveness of the screen and simulate underwater image transmission, the sun images are not divided into three types of underwater gray, blue, and yellow backgrounds. The feature on the right is the transmitted image and the received image. It can be seen from the feature that the three received images are almost the same as the original image and only some details are bl blurred. In the objective evolution part, the UCIQE underwater color image quality evolution and MSE mean square error are used to objectively analyze the received image quality. UCIQE is a layer combination of color concentration, saturation, and contrast, which is used to evaluate the color divination, blurness, and low contrast of underwater imaging. The higher the value, the higher the imaging quality. MSE can evaluate the degree of image change. The smaller the value of MSE, the higher the accuracy of the image. The experimental results are shown in table. It can be seen from table that the evolution index of UCIQE of the screen in this paper is obviously higher than that of other screen. The sixth part is the conclusion. Finally, we can make a summary. There are two reasons for the better image reception of our script. The trans impedance amplifier circuit of the T feedback network will reduce the dark current of the cir circuit while ensuring the circuit gain remains unchanged, and at the same time reduce the matching error between the resistors. The circuit performance is better. The fast likelihood blind detection algorithm used in this paper filters out edge noises through constraint search, does not rely on channel's statistical characteristics, reduce the amount of calculation, 
and improve the detection accuracy. The scream in this paper had a higher degree of restoration of the original image color density, saturation, and contrast. In addition, the MC index of the scream in this paper is also significantly larger than other screams, indicating that the pixel gap between the received image and the original image is smaller, and the image information fidelity is better. Okay, that is all. Thank you.